The Polish Center for International Aid Foundation organized evacuations from Kharkiv and its surrounding areas. Drivers transported over 1,200 fleeing Ukrainians to a pre-prepared center in Svitlovodsk, where they awaited further transport. The PCPM medical emergency team evacuated Ukrainian patients, including children in oncology wards, individuals requiring specialized treatment, the elderly and those who are alone. After February 24, 2022, nearly 2 million refugees from Ukraine stayed in Poland for a while or longer. In March 2022, the Foundation established a 24-hour transit center at the East Warsaw Railway Station. This center, unique globally and the only one in Europe, was specifically created for those fleeing the war in Ukraine. At the same time, PCPM facilitated humanitarian transports toward Ukraine with essential supplies such as blankets, flashlights, generators, food and hygiene items. The Foundation organized equipment, ambulances and personal protective gear for hospitals. The Foundation operated directly near the front lines, delivering aid to the most devastated areas in the Kherson region and the city of Kherson. PCPM volunteers donated firefighting equipment. The Foundation helped individuals who lacked the means to support themselves. Tens of thousands of people received financial aid and rent subsidies, delivered seed packets to farmers, organized safe spaces, and provided firewood for winter. After the dam on the Dnieper River blew up in Novaya Kachovka, PCBM staff and volunteers assisted flood victims. In 11 different municipalities in Ukraine, the Foundation in Ukraine launched Cash for Work intervention employment programs. In mid-2023, reconstruction and repair of damaged homes began. PCPM supported the restoration of public services in Ukrainian cities. Thanks to vehicles provided by the Foundation, public transportation was restored and humanitarian aid was able to reach those most in need. In Truskavets, the Foundation equipped shelters and schools so that children could learn together on site. The PCPM Foundation, as the only Polish organization, also helped Ukrainian refugees on the Latvian-Russian and Latvian-Belarusian borders. Ukraine joined the EU Civil Protection Mechanism, allowing the PCPM to establish the Medevac Hub Yashonka in Poland, near Rzeszów's airport. This hub serves Ukrainian patients who are transported to various European countries for treatment. The PCPM has facilitated the evacuation of children with oncological diseases and individuals with severe burns, among others. The Foundation assisted Ukrainian refugees in rebuilding their lives in Poland, with a special focus on those facing the greatest challenges – the elderly, isolated individuals and people with disabilities. The PCPM provided financial aid and subsidized the rent to support their integration. For those who were able to work, the Foundation organized language and vocational courses. Thanks to the Cash for Work program, teaching assistants, psychologists and translators have been employed in various Polish cities. Artists have found work in Warsaw's theaters, museums, libraries and cultural centers. PCPM helped children from Ukraine adapt and learn. Classrooms in school in Suprash, Białystok, Warsaw, Lublin, Siedlce and Bydgoszcz were renovated. Other schools received new equipment, such as laptops, projectors or furniture. An education and creativity center for mothers with children has been established in the capital city so that the youngest could play together and adults could get help. During the summer holidays, the foundation organized activities for kids in 10 Polish cities. A PCPM education center with a Ukrainian curriculum and language has opened in Warsaw for Ukrainian students. The war continues, not only in their imagination. The Polish Center for International Aid Foundation continues to support Ukraine and the Ukrainian refugees in Poland. Thank you for your support. Your contribution can make a difference.